Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Namaste. So happy to have you back. And today I wanted to talk about something because I myself had this issue and I was wondering why when I applied film LUTs in DaVinci, the ones that are built in, it just looked really crunchy and it didn't look correct. And I thought I was doing the right thing. So as filmmakers, it's really important, right, to color grade your footage, give it that aesthetic, give it that subjective look that you know you're going for because everyone is different everyone wants something differently and it's an important part of the process that's how you get your look that's how you get your feel of your film or whatever you're working on as far as your production goes so i wanted to show you how i apply it the correct way that i know how to apply the film luts or looks in davinci resolve so let's hop into davinci resolve 18 and let's go over it all right guys so here we are in davinci resolve 18 and i just have a few clips loaded in from a wedding that i worked uh this past weekend and that's really all the footage that i have that i'm going to be able to demonstrate this on right now so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our first clip and we're going to come on over to the color page all right so there's our clip there and your LUTs or film looks or whatever the case may be are going to be right up here at the top in this little icon that says LUTs and here we are in the film looks that DaVinci gives. Now we have a couple of different ones. We're going to focus on the Rec. 709 to Kodak 2383. So, um, got three different flavors. D55 which is warmer, D60 which is cooler, and then the D65 which is much more cooler. Um, what we're going to try to do is get this from the S-Log footage that you see here. This was shot with a Sony a7 IV S-Log 3 S Gamut Cine 3, I believe is what the codec is labeled as. We're going to try to get that converted and everything so we get that good picture and we do it the correct way with getting, you know, the Kodak film look. So we don't want to apply this right out of the gate, right? Because it's not going to look good. It just looks washed out and looks, you know, super just desaturated anyways. First, what we need to do is we need to create some nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a serial node here. And then I'm going to add a couple of more serial nodes. I'm going to add a total of six, I believe. So let, there we go. We got six here. So I'm going to label the first node in, right? Because we need to basically tell DaVinci what we're doing, right? What the color space we want to transform this log footage into. So if we go over here to effects and we look for the color space transform, we're just gonna drag that on top of here, right? All right, so the input color space is going to be Sony S Gamma 3 dot Cine. And then the input gamma is going to be Sony S Log 3. And we're gonna use the output color space as DaVinci Wide Gamut and the output gamma as DaVinci Intermediate. Okay, so I know this probably looks a little weird right now, and we're thinking to each other. I know we're thinking to each other, sorry, <laughs> that, um, hey, you know, this just basically looks right back at the log image. Well, that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to node number five now. And what we want to do, because these Kodak film looks are meant for a Cineon film log print. So what we're going to have to do now is make that correction. So we're going to drag that onto the fifth note there, and we're gonna say the input color space is DaVinci Wide Gamut, input gamma is going to be DaVinci Intermediate, and then we're going to say that we want the output color space to be Rec. 709, and the output gamma to be Cineon Film Log. So this is a lot better than the initial log footage that we have. There is a little bit of color here, but obviously, you know, it's still not correct. So we're going to jump over here to our last node. And the reason why I have these two, three and four is just so I can do some, you know, different things like exposure adjustments. Um, on this third node here, I may just say that that is for my saturation. And then on the fourth node here, I may say that that's just for um, contrast or something like that. But what we're going to figure out here is the sixth node. Now we can drag our Rec. 709 to Kodak look on here. And again, guys, really color grading is subjective. It's what you want to do. Now, obviously I'm not going to be happy with this image because it does look blown out, but let's just go into our exposure um, tab or node that we did. So that way we keep everything separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply drag 
the offset down. Software update, of course. Drag the offset down a little bit because it was a little bit blown out. And then now um, what I could do is reset that node grade. Okay, so now I can mess with the saturation a little bit, put a little color in there. And again, you're gonna do these adjustments based upon what you like. Contrast, what we're gonna do is just add a little contrast to it. And you know, you make your adjustments as you see fit. You know, if that's too bright for you or something like that, then obviously you're gonna color grade and do color correction to what you like. Um, so for me, the midtones, they're a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna take down the gamma just a little bit. And that's looking good. And then maybe if I want a darker, moodier look, I'm gonna take down the shadows just a hair. And everything's looking pretty good. So obviously, you know, that's the correct way to use the Kodak 2383 LUTs. And um, that's the way to actually convert it over. So once you have, you know, your color graded on your clips, obviously I have some other clips here that I can show you. Um, it's real easy to go ahead and, especially if you have the same scene, just go ahead and copy that look and everything that we did. So let's just say that's the final look, right? So we'll go ahead and go to our next clip, which is pretty much the same scene. What we do is we hover over that clip and then we middle mouse button down on the clip that we've graded. And there we go. Now you may want to make some adjustments like here, the skin is a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the gamma back up a little bit and the overall picture gets a little bit you know brighter as well as the skin mess with the offset a little bit and to me that's looking pretty good obviously you're going to adjust you know different uh, aspects of different scenes but this is how you know basically you can do it here and correctly use the kodak 709 lutz all right guys so if this video was helpful in any ways i would greatly appreciate a like and if you didn't like the video make sure you hit that dislike button twice if you found any value in it, please consider subscribing because I will be talking about everything filmmaking um, as far as lighting, gear, you know, editing, color correction, all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial today. I hope it helps you properly use the Kodak film looks or any of the film looks that are inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, until next time, take care of each other, be kind, and I'll see you soon.